So we're back with world class cook Bevo, who is wearing, um, I don't know what the hell he's wearing. This is the weirdest looking outfit. He's got a, what the hell? B E, what, what, what is, I, I, what is that? I don't know what his necklace says, but, um, this guy calls himself Bevo. Uh, he looks extremely bizarre in this pic. Something about that uh, outfit makes his head look even more ginormous than it already is in relation to his uh, spindly body. Uh, and uh, Bebo here with his uh, cheap, uh, crappy, uh, fake silver necklace and uh, watch bling is going to, and his obviously uh, fake wooden teeth, is going to tell us... <laughs> The beaver with the wooden teeth is going to tell us how he was, uh, you know, used on the whatever podcast. He's coping, uh, basically. Uh, you know, this guy who was clearly, obviously, 100% slave to his emotions, slave to his feelings, slave to his desires, slave to his lust, who lets his girl bang other dudes, and Copes justifies it by telling himself he's doing it for the money, and he's going to be super rich, and that money is going to create a long-lasting, sustaining bond between him and his chick, who has so little regard for him in turn, that she bangs other dudes and proclaims love for him, but then bangs other dudes. Uh, and uh, he's going to tell us here how it was all a big scam Ola. And he was just lied to and used, and yeah, so let's hear from Beaver Beefo, the derp derp. Um, I was basically told what to say, um, basically for their financial gain, which has made me look a complete mug on the internet now. So you're admitting you look like a moron, okay. You were paid? You were told what to say? Really? Hasn't the Whatever Podcast been around for, for years? Like at least five? Has anybody ever come forward, ever on that show, and claimed that they've been coached or were given a script or told what to say at any time? No. By the way, look at those teeth. They look like dentures. <laughs> They're clearly fake. What? I, 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 I can't get off the teeth. Dude, what? exactly was it that possessed you to get these obviously fake ginormous gigantic ivory looking teeth what the heck were you thinking <sighs> anyway continue with your obvious lies um yeah so i'm just gonna do a deep dive so we get to whatever podcast i wasn't supposed to be on there the girls sit down i finally come in Brian comes up to me and says, I look, we need to spice some things up. Um, basically say that you two are in an open relationship and basically she sees other guys and she sees other girls. And me being me thinking, oh yeah, cool. It's look at how he's breaking co eye contact with the camera. Look at how he's constantly looking down and to his right. By the way, that's a sign of a liar. Uh, can't keep eye contact and looking down and to your right. Uh, that's a sign that you're uh, lying. Clips like yeah, why not? Um, let's run with it. Um, so yeah, I've done that. Um, basically, say that you two are in an open relationship, and basically she sees other guys and she see other girls. And me being me, thinking oh yeah, cool, it's clips like yeah, why not? Um, let's run with it. Um, so yeah, I've done that. Anybody out there believe that? By the way, he later on claimed somewhere else that they offered to pay him one hundred fifty dollars and they like never paid him or something. Um, does anybody out there believe that this dude, who claims to be making so much money off of his girls' OnlyFans, and managing her career, and participating with her, and all this, anybody believe that $150 is going to sway this dude to humiliate himself so? And by the way, if he was actually being paid, that this, this is another thing. So, why didn't he say this at the end of the show? When the show ends, see, now this story has changed. When the show end, if you ended, if you recall, he came back to the camera. He came back to the microphone. 
and say, by the way, I've trolled you all, I've scammed you all, me and my girlfriend, we're in a long-term loving relationship, we don't bang other people, we're in a monogamous relationship, it's not poly, and you've been trolled. Well, now that's a totally, completely different story than what you're saying now. Now you're changing your story again, and we're supposed to believe you? Beefo? Beaver teeth? Bobblehead? Here's what really happened. Uh, the guy got animus possessed. He got possessed by his emotions. He got possessed by his ideology. He got possessed by his hatred of Christianity. He became controlled 100% by his... Well, he's controlled 100% by his emotions, it seems. Anyway, but this dude became so enraged internally. He became so possessed by his hatred and disgust of religion and Andrew representing those things that he so hates that yeah he became uh, he came out loud and proud he told the truth baby he told the truth and then some and now it's uh, coming back to bite him in the ass uh, mom and dad maybe his brothers and sisters his siblings are uh, dunking on him incessantly maybe his friends as well this is probably the lie that he told them. Oh, well, Ma, oh, Dad, uh, no, that's not happening. I, I just said that on there uh, because uh, the guy that uh, runs the show, Brian, he offered me $150. You know, $150, a lot of money. I'm, I go out on a good day, get a good meal, and uh, I was willing to exchange. I was willing to uh, trade my self-respect and my honor and uh, uh, for $150. <laughs> I just paid to say that is not true. Yeah, that, 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 that's what really happened. Mom and Dad were shocked, his, his siblings were shocked, and uh, this, this was how he tried to, uh, you know, smooth things over. That, that's all this is. Nobody, nobody offered you money, nobody gave you a script, nobody from the Whatever Podcast told you to say what you said. You decided to say that on your own because you wanted to attack and own uh, uh, the religious guy. You wanted to feel superior for a change to them, but ultimately you can't because you're a big giant cuck who sells your woman for money and you don't value anything except material possessions and being a cuck, every man out there that's not a cuck is automatically better than you. You know that. Daddy knows that. Mommy knows that. When they confronted you, you uh, lied. And I'm pretty sure that anybody could go check out that Sophia's Only Freaks page and find out for themselves just how much you are lying. Because I have very little doubt that uh, you're the only one banging her in some of those videos. But hey, you know, people just read the headlines. I can lie and 90% of people aren't going to go and verify for themselves because they'd have to pay for that OnlyFans. So most people are going to, uh, you know, believe me. No, they won't, by the way. Nobody watched your performance on that show. This is how stupid this guy is. He actually thinks that anybody beyond his parents who want to believe this are going to believe it. No. Only the people who want to see you in the best light possible are going to believe this, this obvious lie. Nobody else. Your mom, your dad, maybe your brother, sister, whatever. Any of your cousins, though? No, 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 no. And your friends? No way. <laughs> They're not going to believe it. Come on, pal. So, you know, I guess he isn't so uh, pro-polyamory to begin with. I guess he's not so pro-open relationship at the end of the day. I guess he uh, does have a problem uh, with it, or it wasn't as popular a lifestyle for a Gen Zer as he first thunk it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is suffering from chronic, being chronically looked down upon, and he just couldn't handle that somebody else was looking down upon him. He's always been a disappointment, and people always look down on him, so he lost it. No, mofo, I'm better than you. I make more money than you ever did at 23 and 30. And when I'm age 30, we're going to have a mansion and uh, all these wonderful positions, and uh, you're going to still be slaving away at your job, slave. It's always these kind of people. These kind of people that are so insecure and make bad life choices and deserve to be looked down upon who overcompensate to this kind of extent like he did on that show.
and they make the kind of bad decisions that they do that lead people to look down on them the way that people look down on them because it's got poor impulse control, poor decision making, lack of self-control, which is his real problem. Inability to defer gratification. That is a hallmark of a low IQ individual. But uh, let me know what you think. Is this bobblehead looking guy wearing whatever the hell he's wearing there uh, high IQ? Is he playing some game of 4D chess with us? And everything he's saying is true? And there's some underlying strategy that we're not seeing going on? Or is he just a total complete moron who thinks you're as dumb as he is because he lacks the imagination to imagine how much smarter people than him actually are? So he doesn't really foresee the possibility that other people could see through his obvious lies. Let me know what you think <laughs> about this beaver tooth idiot in the comments and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already give me a thumbs up leave a comment if you are able it's good for the algorithm or so i'm told and uh on that note i'm out of here uh hope you enjoyed and take care